Now, this weekend's group routine revolves around a strictly tavern where the pros are involved in a love story centered around an Irish jig. Well, just because I'm not a pro anymore doesn't mean that I can't get involved in the fun. Tom, take it away. Oh, yes, thank you. Come on, everybody. Everyone in the studio is joined in. Look at that. Look at us go. Of the morning to you and welcome to the Strictly Tavern. Hold on to your shamrocks because you're in for a wild night out. What you can expect in this number is the best Irish night out ever. It's Irish jig. We've got everything in there. We've got Irish dancing, stamping, clapping. There's some really good lifts in there as well. In this dance, we are all in an Irish pub. And this one particular boy, he's kind of trying to get me. I'm kind of playing hard to get. So I keep on following her throughout the whole dance. And somebody keeps getting her away from me. And then I get her back. And we've got some phenomenal Irish dancers, Callum and Tomas, who join in the action. Their feet move so fast, and our pros are sort of battling to keep up with that. It is so fast, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge to try and work the heels, work the dance. But I think we've created something quite magical. Catch us back here at the weekend and see if we have the look of the Irish. I was there when they filmed that. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> now, Halloween saw some amazing costumes at the weekend. We had werewolves, lobsters, and devils. What on earth could Vicky Gill possibly have in store for us in this week? Well, it's time for putting on the glitz. Vicky Gill, everybody. <laughs> Irish jig running, we do it all here on It Takes Two, don't we? Uh, Vicky, we actually have a question for you from a viewer. Yeah. Interesting question. Yeah. They want to know if you think about the weight of a costume at all, because it could affect the dancing, can't it? Yeah, they are very heavy, certainly the Latin costumes, and sometimes we've got 10 packets of crystals. So basically the rule is, if it's a tight-fitted dress, then we can cope with more stoning. If it's a loose dress, if there's like a circle, then not too much, because you guys get upset that your spins aren't quite as quick as what I was like guilty of that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, but it, is, it does make a difference, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Um, and also, we are halfway through the competition now. Yeah. The celebs are getting more comfortable in their skin. They're yeah. making different kind of demands. Have you noticed a change in their attitude towards what they're wearing? Absolutely, very demanding. Very demanding, <laughs> no. It, um, it's, everybody's invested in what they're doing, so I think there's more attention to detail. They understand more about the process. They don't want to go home, so they're, you know, it, everything's got to be right. So in, in all areas, um, we're all just doing our best, but um, we're still having fun. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants to stay, right? Nobody, yeah. It's not that nobody wants to win or lose, they no. just don't want to leave. Just That's don't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go into sketch number one, because yeah. I'm excited for today's sketches. Who's this for? This one's for Tilly, and she's doing the tango <gasps> this week. Looks amazing. And she's a black queen, so it's a chess vibe. So the creative team, at the set, it's, um, <clears throat> like I say, a, a chess um, feel to it. So. This feels very dramatic. It's more theatrical than possibly um, Nikita is maybe looking for if he's watching at home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Nikita. It's going to be fine. Don't panic. So I've created elements to it. So the sleeves, there's lots and lots of flair. We've got a peplum through the waist and we've got a shoulder detail through the neckline. Because it's dark on set, black's not often the best colour. Mm. So we're going to use different tones. So we've got a velvet, we've got a wet look lycra, and this is a Georgette that's got a print um, oh. over it. So hopefully I'll, it'll give them enough light and shade. Yeah. And then um, these elements can move. Go and of course quite you've got a down. bit of a skirt as well because it's a ballroom dance. Yeah. But you're right, sometimes black on the set can look dark, especially on a dance like a tango or pasta yes. doble. Good uh, colour for it. Yeah. But it's dark for lighting. But. I know, lighting <laughs> always goes, guys, please. <laughs> uh, right, let's go on to sketch number two. And what have you got here for sketch two? So oh, this two, is fun. Yeah, <laughs> lovely rose. So we've got a 60s vibe going on. Again, the creative team, it looks absolutely fabulous. Rose has had mm. some custom-made boots 
um, which she loves. She's doing the samba as well, so it's interesting that true. she's got boots for a samba. She's it's true. really going for the characterization of the 60s. Absolutely, so yeah. the creative is led on this one. So samba, this is, this is quite a difficult look for us to pull off because we've got a really short hemline and Giovanni's going to want lots of movement on that hemline. Yeah. Um, but we want it to work with the boots. So. Yeah, and in the training room, we saw it. She was using them to practice yes. it, didn't she? Yeah, in that little update. Get, getting used to it. Yeah, everybody wants them early in the week. Yeah. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see on the left, what I've done is we may use a baby doll shape, which will give a bit more bounce and a bit more movement if Giovanni thinks that it's needed. But I'm sure that Rose is going to, you know, really move on Saturday oh, night. Oh, I know. She's, she's she may not need it. She's amazing, isn't she? <laughs> she's doing so well, Rose. Uh, right, let's go to mannequin number one mannequin over here. One. Big reveal. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh, wow. This is amazing. <laughs> So this is for AJ. Mm -hmm. uh, she's doing Charleston this week. Oh my God, and look at the stoning on that. I know, we've the got lots work. of crystals. Just what the viewer was chatting about. Yeah. <laughs> this is a heavy this dress. This is a heavy dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've left this hemline because I'm hoping that it goes very short, but I may need this depending on how AJ's feeling. But I, I mean, her legs are Her great, legs. So. <laughs> I've never seen go. better legs on the dance floor there at all. Uh -huh. So this is a slip dress because I'm trying to give more movement in the hem and the bust area. If she's having difficulty with it, we'll secure it through the waistband where we've got an underbody which we're going to use tomorrow. But we've got light cyan, we've got garnet, we've got aurum, we've got crystal AB. How many crystals do you reckon? Um, on this one, I haven't actually counted the packets for this one. Ash will correct me a little bit later, but I think we'll easily get to 10 by the time we're done. Wow, yeah. that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, well now, our second reveal is quite a special one because we've got two people in the studio that really want to have a look and are interested in this particular mannequin. So Tom and Amy, step in here, come and join us. Are you nervous? This is a big moment. You yeah, see awesome? I'm, no, I'm excited. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Shall we do the big reveal, everybody? Yes. <laughs> So, we know they're doing pasta doble. Talk us through it, Vicky. This is a really traditional shape. So that you're going to be in a, a shorter trouser, hopefully tomorrow. So you'll have a long sock and shoe, so much more like a bullfighter than possibly a Latin dancer would be on a competitive floor. I was right. glad you were wearing blue. I thought we we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're keeping in, the in right theme. Space. We're keeping in theme, right? <laughs> um, and this is your cape. But the reason why we've popped this on is because em, um, Amy's skirt is going to be the same proportion and the same flair, and she'll have an underdress that will work with it. So it's oh. early days, but you've got, you know, yeah, you've got amazing. the essence. It looks like a proper matador outfit, doesn't it? But so like, cool. Can I have his muscles as well, please? <laughs> <laughs> that would be um, really useful. Yeah. I'm trying to find my inner masculinity, so if they're available. Uh, Tom, quick, what do you guys think? Amy? I love it. Happy? They yeah. are happy. Yeah. We got the approval. Well done. <laughs> Give it up for Vicky Gill, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>